All right, so four stars. Oh, it looks different. Astral form looks a lot different too. It's a lot cleaner actually. So oh, you go into astral form faster. All right, so let's go to Astro to start. So astral form, while in astral form, pings are no longer blocked by geometry that Astra cannot see. Astra's targeting ring in astral form is reduced to one ring that reflects the size. Okay, so they, that's right. So they increased the size of the smoke and they decreased the size of the gravity well. So previously, when you went into Astral Forum, you could see two rings here. One for the smoke, one for the suck and the stun. But now it's just one ring because it's all the same size. And the gravity well is a lot... I mean, it, I don't want to say a lot smaller, but... I think... Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit smaller. And then, so there's a cooldown. So you place the star down and then you said, hey, I don't want to use this. Took it back. It would take 14 seconds to recharge. Now it takes 25 seconds. Uh, so so cooldown after you use a pull or after you use a stun, you can't do either of those these two things for another 45 seconds. It used to be 25 second cooldown. Um, also, one thing that they changed with both of these abilities is when picture Ascent right now, Heaven and Hell, right? If you put a suck in Heaven and you were playing here, you would get sucked, but you don't get sucked if you're underneath anymore, which is really nice. So there. for Brimstone, so deploy time of the smoke, I think that's the time that it takes from this from the smoke to drop from the sky and land on the ground. So it was two seconds. Now it's one. Oh, wow. That's really fast. Okay. Deploy radius increased from 5,000 to 5,500. Is that how far you can place smokes? I think that's what that is, right? I didn't know exactly what that meant. Deploy radius. And then the stim beacon got buffed as well. So stim beacon, stim beacon when you're in the radius of it, oh, you run faster now too. It already made you shoot faster as is, but they added an additional 15% speed boost to the stim beacon. Okay, so we got the brim, and I think they've changed the ult radius so it's bigger as well. Oh, yeah, you can ult the whole map. Well, not really, but that's kind of nice. So, Omen. Smoke cooldown reduced from 40 to 30. The cost of the smoke was increased from 100, because I think you only have to buy one Omen smoke. One is there already, and then you buy the other. Uh, increased from 100 to 150. And then the, the speed that the smoke travels was increased drastically so similar to how omens or how brimstones uh drops from the sky faster omens just goes into its spot faster now a lot faster i think it was like tripled it went from 2800 to 6400 so that's good so omen buff and then also the tp reduced cost from 150 to 100 and then the delay when you tp went from one second to 0.7 seconds so it's just a little bit faster yeah, it's pretty noticeable, I think. Okay. I like it. I like it. And then it says Paranoia added forward spawn offset. So players adjacent to Omen are not hit. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but um, okay. So fuel drain increased 50% when the toxic screen, which is the wall, and the poison cloud are both active. So if you have one up, it goes down at its normal pace. But if you have both up, everything goes down twice as fast as it would already. Wow, that's actually a pretty big nerf. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it also says Viper's fuel bar now turns red when she doesn't have enough fuel to activate her abilities. So let's just do this real quick. I'm going to watch this one more time. Does it go up faster? I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. Oh, yeah. So the, you can see the fuel bar turning red there at the bottom. And then these lights are yellow, I think, when it can't be active. Yeah, as soon as it's ready again, it turns back to green. Okay, that's cool. So when you run out of gas... Typically, you would have to wait six seconds to put your stuff back up. Now you have to wait eight seconds. The cooldown timer also starts when her smoke starts dissipating instead of when the deactivation telegraph plays. I, that doesn't make a big difference at all. Toxic screen has yellow lights. Deactivation delay decreased. Deactivation delay. When it goes down, it used to take one second to go down. Now it takes 0.8 seconds. So it goes down faster, but it doesn't go up faster. So that's weird. So they changed the time it takes to put it down, but not up. Um, And then the snake bite, it used to last six and a half seconds. Now it lasts five and a half. Still makes you vulnerable. So vulnerability is still a thing for both Astra and Viper. Okay. So now let's go to Yoru. 
So you have two TPs. How does that work though? Okay, so you press F. Wait, do you have to look at it? Or you have to look at it to fake it. So it says press F to fake TP. That that makes sense because if you had to go onto a rope, then otherwise then that would be bad. So if I wanted to fake it, fake teleport. it makes noise like I TP'd there, but I didn't actually do it. So does this just mean there's no cooldown? So let's just say I wanted to TP. Yeah. I have one more and I can send it right away. So that's what that means. So so two gate crash. It's not like you can send one in one direction send one in the other direction and then choose which one you want to tp to it doesn't work like that one at a time but no cooldown so that's really cool uh pretty sure the flash was untouched yeah so flash is the same and then here's the decoy so it looks like an like from our perspective it, it looks like an obvious decoy but from the perspective of the enemy team it looks exactly like me i don't know i don't really see this decoy really being that good so you can also still right click it just like you could with the footsteps and then just activate it whenever you want so charges of the fake out you used to have two fake footsteps now you just have one since it's a full body clone the hp of the actual dummy is 150 hp he can only be sent running forward you can still do the right click if you want to just leave it there and then send it off while you're on B or something. Upon taking damage from an enemy, turns toward the enemy that shot at, at it and explodes and flashes them. And then the gate crash, again, we have two of them. It's 200 credits per gate crash. Oh, so you have two gate crashes, but similar to Jet's dash, raise grenade, Phoenix Molly. If you get two kills, I think it recharges. You can see that on the bottom of the screen there, those two little um, X's. So it still recharges after some eliminations. So that's cool. Teleport beacons in-game audio was reduced. So the, okay. So they reduced the audio when you actually teleport. So it's a little bit quieter. Before you could hear the teleport from 22.5 meters. Now you can hear it from 12.5 meters. So that's a pretty big reduction. Teleport beacon speed has been increased. So I think that's just the how fast this thing travels from 675 to 800. Okay, and then the ult. So the ult duration, it used to last eight seconds. Now it lasts 10 seconds. Yoru is not revealed to enemies in the ult anymore. That's a big change. I thought the fact that they could see you in the ult was stupid. Uh, so the fact that people can't see you now, even if you're close to them, is great. Unequip delay time. So yeah, to take off the mask and like jump out and shorty someone, I don't think that's going to be a viable strat anymore. It takes way too long. Somebody will kill you by the time you jump out. Yoru is now able to cast all utility in his ultimate. So if you're in your ult before, the only thing you could do in the ult before was put a TP down before you use it, go into your ult, and then TP, right? Now, when you're in your ultimate, you can actually use all of your abilities. So you can place a TP, you can place a flash, you can place a fake footstep, everything you can use in your ult now. Yoru's footsteps can now be heard within 15 meters of Yoru's location. Okay, so instead of being able to see Yoru in the ult, now you can't see him, but you can hear Yoru within 15 meters. So within 15 meters of the ult, you can hear Yoru. I wonder if you can shift walk and take that away. I'm not sure, honestly, because you can shift walk, but I don't, I assume they wouldn't be able to hear you anymore. And then also there's no nearsightedness. So before in Yoru's ult, you could only see within like 10 or 15 meters in front of you. Now you have full vision of everything. That's really cool. So we need to go over the icebox changes now. So let's start on B because that's where like the, the big changes happened. So obviously, you know, the window is moved over. The bottom is no longer hollow, but they added this cubby. And then these double boxes that were right here got moved back. But what I like is that they extended the site out right here. So before, if you didn't have a sage wall and you were planting, right? Although you couldn't get wall bang from the double boxes, People could sit in the bottom of sight and wall bang through the, through the thing. But obviously this isn't wall bangable. I mean, it is on the sides, but I can't, yeah, I can't imagine it is here, which it's not. Okay. It's wall bangable on the sides though. Underneath. Oh, oh, the floor. No. Oh, maybe you wouldn't think, oh my God, you can wait. What kitchen I think is bigger. Yeah, this is definitely bigger. And then yellow. We haven't even talked about yellow really. Man, okay, this is gonna be weird playing post plant here. So that's completely wall bangable. What about this side? Okay, so there's no box at all on this side. And then, so this whole lane from B long is wider. I like that a lot. I think that's good. This cubby is a lot bigger, I think. It's bigger 
lengthwise, but I think it's narrower. And then, yeah, so this is the big change. So this is where people used to go to do their Viper lineups. But now, oh, that's not how I imagined it. Okay, I think this was adjusted too. Couldn't you just directly updraft on top of this right here? They moved it over to the left more. And then so Garage is just a little bit different looking. I like this. I like the way this plays out, I think. Just makes it easier to clear some angles. This ramp used to go all the way across to right here. And then this clutter was over here. So this ramp is more narrow. And then on A site, they changed. So this used to be like a little small double step box. I actually like this change because before, if you did this sage wall, there was a double step box and you could jump on it. And when you jumped on the double step box, you could jump on the wall. So you just, okay, that's interesting. So, so that's, this is change number one on a site. And then change number two is this. So they nerfed the headshot angle that you could get as an attacker here, which I think is great. So, but you can still play this from a defender. Okay. That's interesting, man. That's really good though. This was such an OP angle in my opinion. It's not like they took it away, right? Like you can still play from pipes, but yeah, this, this angle was definitely pretty OP. Didn't they lower a main or screens door? Oh, this? Oh, Ooh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. You could get up here before and sh you could see people's toes on boiler and you could see people rotating from spawn over here. You could shoot all of this because the thing was a lot higher. That's a great change. I didn't know they changed that. That's a really, really good change, man. Man, I like these changes a lot. I really do.